Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm still playing 3.25, and it's actually been a lot of fun. I've since switched out of the Retaliate Gladiator just because I've gotten tired of needing to get hit to uh, attack. So uh, now I found myself playing my second favorite skill in PoE, which is Tornado Shot, my favorite Blade Vortex. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. So I'm wanting to share my Alk and Go strategy. It involves very minimum effort. It's very fast map times. Solid gold gains for King's March, so you can keep running your mappers and your ships. And an actual good amount of profit since you're not investing anything into the map. Uh, you're just blasting the map one after another. And for me personally, it takes about a minute to two minutes max to run each. Um, average is honestly about one minute and 15 seconds. Um, this isn't anything different uh, from what I've seen most YouTubers though. They don't really cover the bare minimum of getting currency for us lazy players, you know, who just wants to kill monsters with no issues and with ease. Um, so I'm gonna do it for us, right? So this takes advantage of the increased explicit modifiers on the Atlas tree. Surprise, surprise, everyone's fucking using it. Uh, turning our lowly Alct map to at least something decent. Um, I'll put up some photos of the Atlas, uh, the two Atlases that I use. Uh, you'll see it in the video. I'll put it up there for a little bit so you can pause it, maybe take a screenshot or something if you want to use it. Uh, one of them I use for farming T17 maps uh, and another that drops more scarabs. You'll be able to tell the difference because the one for maps has all the map drop nodes selected and the scarabs has all the scarab nodes selected. Um, but I do use red altars for both because I prefer not waiting for mobs to spawn and I've just always felt like blue is bait unless you're juicing. Uh, no offense to blue though. Anyways, uh, I decided to run 80 of these Alc jungle valleys. No quality, no scarabs, just Alc and go. Uh, here's a photo of the quad tab before. You'll see it there. Um, I didn't. I was too lazy. I didn't want to move any of my stuff on there. I didn't want to remove the fortunates and the other stuff and here's a photo of it afterwards as you can see it's full of shit right it's has a bunch of stuff um i also seem to get a lot of gold when i did the strategy um it was a lot honestly i was able to pretty much kit out my guys doing this um and i would just put it towards clash of clans so whenever i got it i would just drop it off and then I would continue mapping. Um, I didn't want to use too much of my time outside of the maps. Just because I, I, I enjoy killing the monsters. Oh, sorry. So it took me about two hours and some change to run all 80 maps. Um, let's say maybe two hours and 20 minutes. Uh, this is what Wealthy Exile gave me for the valuation of my entire runs. And as you can see, it's kind of insane, right? Like, I don't believe that, and I don't think you should either. Uh, I'm not a fan of tracking your gains per hour this way. It feels like bait to me, and I don't think it's a good indicator. Because, honestly, who's going to buy all the random shit that, like, costs, like, 3, 4, 5 chaos? Um, unless you're patient, of course. And then if you are, yeah, that's probably going to sell. Um, do with this information what you want. Um, it doesn't seem bad at all to do. The strategy is very brainless and allows you to watch Netflix or watch Fubgun or MP on your secondary monitor. Um, that's pretty much it, honestly. I think that it's pretty good. Anyways, I'll let the video here play itself so that you can see if this is the type of currency farm you'd like to do or not. Uh, also, the fortunate drops in my jungle valley because I scried it into uh, I scried Mesa into it. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, hope you drop loot. Later.
plaything receives a reward. 